Welcome guys to an all new season of Mr. Tesalonian. For some of you that have followed me over to the other shows on YouTube, this room here is not going to be a new room to you. But for all of you that have stayed over on Mr. Tesalonian, this is going to be all new to you guys. Where we are right now is in one of the back offices of my 3D print farm. This is going to be the quietest room I have with the least amount of machines always running in the background. So we should be able to use this room as kind of our studio for this Mr. Tesalonian project where we mix in 3D printing in with, with that inventive process that we have going on on the Mr. Tesalonian show. So real quick, I just want to show you guys what we've got going on here. Let me introduce you to all the machines that we're going to be using for the show. Right here we have a Chidi X-Max 3. Right here we have a Chidi X-Smart 3. Very nice machine. Here we have the Creality CR30 belt printer. Now I've modified this a little bit so we have a direct drive uh, extruder there so that way we can print flexible materials. Over here we have the Creality S1 Pro. Just over to the left of the S1 Pro we have the V3 SE from Creality. Over here we have two Flash Forge Adventure 3 Pros. I love these two machines and I'm going to give a big shout out to Flash Forge. I've been running these two machines for product manufacturing for two and a half years. I haven't changed the hot ends. I haven't had to change anything on either one of these two machines. The only things I've had to do in two and a half years of almost daily use is tighten up the belts. So big shout out to Flash Forge and the Adventure 3 Pro. So if you want a good machine that's just going to keep ticking away, keep producing products day after day, definitely look into the Flash Forge Adventure 3 Pro. There's the seven machines that I've put together here for this show. This should do everything that we're going to need to do between the belt printer being able to have an infinite Z-axis and print really long items out. Let's say like some wind blades for a wind generator or something like that. And then we have this GDX Max 3 over here. This thing is awesome when it comes to producing very, very strong large parts made out of engineering grade materials like carbon fiber nylon, or carbon fiber PET, glass filled nylons, things like that. Right now that's printing out a uh, product. Let's see how well it's doing. Looks like it's doing pretty well. And right now that's printing with a glass filled nylon. And you can see just how nice that's doing. All right guys, so there's our main machines we're gonna be using for the show. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a quick look at these. Let's go ahead and get started on our very first show. In fact, that printer right now is printing out the item for our very first show. So stay tuned, we'll be uploading that here real soon. 